of course you want to land survey with a phone and in this video we will show you the Trimble way of GPS surveying with your phone. Trimble Catalyst DA2 with the AppGloss Survey Wizard. So what comes with the Trimble Catalyst DA2? Let's unbox. As I can see uh, there is a antenna and it comes with a power bank. I think you also can order a you forgot something. cable. If you want to do GPS surveying with your phone, you just want to have this antenna mounted with your phone. We don't have a handle, but there is a handle where you can easily mount the phone on the handle and then the handle has this DA2 antenna on it. Yeah. But since we don't have the handle, Ray will mount this DA2 antenna of Trimble on a GPS rod. Further, everything will work exactly the same. And now I'm going to attach the antenna on the carbon rod. <laughs> Very dangerous with the cable. So please, can you hold this for me? Because I have to get the second item. Of course, I'm the assistant. Uh, the second item, it's the power bank. Uh, okay. And now, I'm gonna put the USB into the power bank. There's a power, small, very tiny power switch that you have to press on. And yes, see, let me show you, there's uh, some blue light there. So now we have this DA2 antenna of Trimble on, but we still want to do GPS surveying with the phone. So we have to connect this DA2 antenna with the phone. First of all, we need to go to settings, settings. and then you go to system and you click on about phone and then there is something that says build number and you have to pretend that you're crazy because you have to press seven times on the build number <laughs> why is that and then you have to confirm the pin i will tell you why that is that because that's a very good question after doing this you will be a developer on your phone and there will be the developer options here you can see them on the screen later we will need to use this but first we have to download some apps and which apps do you have to download i will tell you so we go to the google play store so we go to trimble catalyst Trimble Catalyst, okay. Service. Service. And we found it already and we click install. Now it's installing. And so we have to wait. <laughs> now it's installed. So we need some other app as well. And that is called Trimble Mobile Manager. And also this we have to install. Again we have to wait. So now we can click on open of the Trimble Mobile Manager. So the Trimble Mobile Manager asks for permission, so we allow Proceed. everything. We accept the terms. Of course you have to read them before, but I'm an unalphabetic. We have to select the position source, so we click on that one and since this DA2 antenna has a Bluetooth model we want to connect it with the Bluetooth. We click on the button list connected devices. <laughs> it asks to continue turn on device location which uses Google location service. So we click OK. It's scanning. Scanning. It found a device and it's the, the DA2. It's this antenna of Trimble so we click on it and then it asks sign in required so we need to sign in it's loading a web page and of course you have to accept the cookies and then you sign in that's very easy to do I won't show you my credentials but for sure you will get your own 
we logged in and now we are connected so we have to go back now to the developer options that i told you about before so we go to system and developer options and we have to check about the mock location app and there is an option select mock location app so we click on it and there we see an option which is called Trimble Mobile Manager. So we click on it and now that is set. So we can go back to the Trimble Mobile Manager and we need to do something. We need to connect to this DA2 antenna. So we connect it and then it says connecting. It's waiting for GPS. We have a position and it's now 1.6 meters. It had 2.6 meters, 3 meters, 2.3 meters, 2.9 meters, 4 meters. We have RTK, it says. Yay! So that's a good thing. So the deviation now is 0.01 meter. We need to do one more thing in uh, the Trimble mobile manager. So we go to the menu, we click on application settings. And there, there is an option share location and that option we need and you need to set it up. So we click on the button set up. There it says share location with your regular applications and now it's off and we need to turn it on. So we turn it on. So now we can go to the best app for land surveying, right? The app plus survey wizard. Let's open it. Make sure that you can land survey with this DA2 antenna of Trimble. You have to make sure you go to the other settings and have the phone GPS on 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 yes. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. After that you click OK. And here we already have a position. So what is the thing that you always say what you need to do? For measuring a point give it a name because if you don't give it a name nobody else will know what you have surveyed so, so go to the layer what, manager what we will do then is to go to the layer manager then we go to add layer and we give it the name name because you said you have to give it a name <laughs> wow <laughs> then after that of course you have to go to the point that you want to measure. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And since you're lazy, it's this point. <laughs> After that, you can select the layer name and then you click on point. And Yay. now we did the trim away of GPS surveying with your phone. But of course, there are also other ways to do GPS surveying with your phone. For example, this one.